But the real question with NVIDIA isn't the current fundamentals. It's what's going to be the situation in five to 10 years as far as AI, as far as artificial intelligence, as far as data centers. How much more scaling as far as spending money on NVIDIA chips will the hyperscalers do over the next 10 years? How much more competitors will get into the market and disrupt NVIDIA? All of these questions have to be answered even before you look at any single metric on the fundamentals, because this is going to determine NVIDIA's future, not the current operating margin. How much competition and how much demand? These are the key questions that basically keep people outside of NVIDIA right now. Now, there is, of course, the Cisco case from late 90s, where Cisco had a similar spike to NVIDIA, being that in the late 90s, the company ballooned outside of its normal size because people assumed that the telecom internet deployment cycle will continue forever, and yet it ended. And then Cisco, even though it kept on making money, shrunk back on the stock price because there were a lot of assumptions back then that did materialize. People are afraid that this might happen to NVIDIA. I personally don't hold that opinion because there's clearly a difference between the telecom life cycle of a product and the capex and infrastructure versus high-end computing. The big question here isn't so much NVIDIA, but more AI. Will AI keep evolving or is this the kind of max capacity of AI we have? And from this point on, we basically just kind of stagnating, right? 